you know, going, starting from you know, the end of my junior year in college to going to pro ball. Um, you go from playing baseball three, four times a week to playing baseball every day. So, you know, that's the first adjustment. You're tired all the time. You got to learn how to play tired, learn how to, you know, grind the grind months like August and September and stuff like that. And um, then COVID happened, crazy year, then first full year in 2021 and then got traded. So, um, then, like you said, the first three years have been pretty crazy so far. So, um, but I mean, through these three years, I've had a blast, you know, met a lot of good people, had a lot of fun, um, and just enjoying the game, playing baseball. Just from the first, from the start of 2021, it was, it was kind of crazy coming like at, in spring training. Um, like we kind of had the group together. We kind of knew who was going to Mississippi. We we're like, Oh, we're going to be pretty good this year. We're going to have a pretty good team. And then we opened up the season and we were terrible. Uh, we started like four and 12 or something like that. And, you know, eventually we kind of clicked and mm -hmm. the, there were, you know, a span of weeks in there. It just felt like we couldn't lose. Um, I mean, it was a lot of fun to be a part of, um, but some of the most fun I've had playing baseball that summer and, uh, won the championship in double a, um, we played the, the Montgomery biscuits, I think 42 times that year, the Rays, we played them so many times and then played them in the championship series. So. We guys know those guys pretty good, but um, you know it was awesome. It was you know, just like a bunch of kids playing baseball. We win the championship. You feel like a kid again. You feel you, you feel you know like you're 10 years old playing the game like you used to on the weekends. Um, and then uh, they told me I was going up for that last week to uh, play one week in AAA. Got um, mm -hmm. to know those guys, be around some veteran guys that been in the big leagues and obviously um, AAA guys and. You know, I had, had a good experience there, and then they called me into the office that Sunday because we finished the season on Sunday and said, hey, you're going to be on the taxi squad. And, you know, I didn't really know what that meant, but, um, you know, went up there, was around the team, got to kind of be involved in their routines, but kept my distance at the same time, didn't want to get in anybody's way, and, you know, it was just a blast. They just kept winning, you know. They, they won the World Series, so that was, it was awesome. You know, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, when they when they gave me the they called me and like hey you're gonna get to be on do one of the on field like ceremony type things and I was like oh I thought they were just gonna you know come in the clubhouse one day and be like oh here's your rings and I, so it was it was a really cool moment and you know it's just one of those one of those times you just can't stop smiling you're just you know happy for 24 hours I think we've definitely all thought about it how cool that would be you know one day um, all playing against each other or maybe one day all be on the same team again that'd be even crazier but. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's just cool. Uh, it just kind of shows you the culture that we had at Baylor and the, the type of ball players that, you know, come out of there. And, um, you know, it's just for, it's, it's really hard to make it in baseball. So it just shows you what type of character and what type of, um, you know, culture that you need to be around to make it.